Have you ever been stumped trying to find where to change a little piece of text in your Joomla website? It's probably a language override. They're your friend, and I'm going to show you how to use those. I'm Robbie Adair, and this is OS Tips from OS Training. So inside of Joomla, most extensions allow you to make changes to them with language overrides, meaning maybe it's a text on a button, maybe it's a label on a form field, maybe it's a question that's a link. These type of things can be overwritten and they can be overwritten per language that you're running inside of Joomla. So if you're running a multilingual site, you can make this change per language that you're going to do with the overrides. They're really easy to set up, so let's just dive in and let me show you how. All right, so we have a demo Joomla site here, and this is a membership site, we're going to say, but our members actually, they use the member ID as their username. And just for clarification, we want to change where it says username, whether it be in this field or down here on forgot your username, we want to use the term member ID. Now, this is a login module over here. I've also got a login link to the component page. So this is the one that the login component creates. You'll see we also have username here. We also have forgot your username down here. So where do we make this change? Well, this is a language perfect example, I should say, of a language override. I'm going to log into the back end of Joomla and then under extensions, languages, you will find overrides. Once I'm inside of overrides, I'm going to create a new one. Now, Notice that you're going to get a warning unless you have selected a language. Remember I just said in the intro that we can assign overrides per language we have installed in our Joomla website. I've got English installed, the United Kingdom English, both for my site and for my administrator. If I had other languages, they would be listed in this dropdown. Now, whenever I choose new override, it's going to go ahead and create the new override for me. So how do I find this username? Well, it's over here on the right hand side. We can find the username constant. So you basically have which language, the location meaning is it front or back? This is the front site. Then what is the constant name? This is like a variable name as it were. There's a constant that's related to a string of text and that's the text. So let's take a look here. And we will search first for username. Notice that we're searching for a value. When we've searched for the value, you'll see, oh, there's a lot of them actually out there. And if I were really going to get serious about this, I would take the time to go through and do every one of these, but we're just going to be focused on the ones on our demo page we're looking at. So right now I don't see anything that just says username. Oh, here we go. So down at the bottom, you'll see there's more results. So we do now have username here. So this one, you can see in the name of the constant, this one is from the reset confirmation. So that's really not what I'm looking for just yet, but look at this one, forgot your username. We know that one's on there. And then the username label. So let's start with this one, forgot your username. Once I select it over here out of my search results, it's going to automatically fill in the constant for me and it went ahead and put the text that's already there. So we're gonna change this to member ID. Actually, we'll capitalize it. Let's just say we want it like this, member ID. Now let's save this and let's go to the front end of our site and refresh. Now remember it was forgot your username is what we changed. So when we refresh our page, now you'll see it says forgot your member ID. So now let's go and find another one. So I'm going to save this one, make sure you do save it. And then you can actually just hit save and new if you want so that we can create a new one. So I'm gonna do that same thing again and I'm gonna search for username one more time and we did see it, we had to load more results. 
Now when we refresh, you see it says member ID here. Now we've got these two taken care of, but notice that it didn't change in our module over here. So now I'm going to show you another way of searching for these as well. Now, if I kept searching over here, I would eventually find it. By the way, I'm going to save and close this just so you can see what we're starting to do. We're starting to create overrides in here and it tells us which constant we did them for and what our changes to the text right here. So now let's create a new override. This time, instead of searching for value, I'm going to search for a constant because I know that that module constants are going to start with mod under bar login. Now you may not know this, but as you saw when I searched for the string, the, ver the value, I was seeing the names of them. So I know that this one's going to be mod under bar login. So I will go through these. Again, you may or may not find in the first set of results but you should find it fairly quickly. So we have right here, the username. So we'll save that one. Let's go refresh and you'll see right there. Now in the field, it says member ID. Now we've got one more to do right here. Forgot your username. And we will again use the search for constant mod login and there's forgot your username we're going to put member id on this one save and close and now we should have four of them if i go refresh my page now everything that said username before says member id on here so pretty cool huh now one more thing i just want to point out is if i had another language I would go through here and I would create overrides, but I would do it for a different language. So I go and select my other language and then create the overrides. Also, these that we did in this example are something that's built into Joomla. The login extension is built into Joomla. But if you've installed other extensions, like I have Fabric installed here, other extensions most likely have overrides available for you. So I could go in here and say, for instance, let's look on the front end of our site. I've got this members page. On the members page, clear filters. This is a link inside a fabric that does something. It clears the filters whenever I filter this list. I just want this to say clear. I don't want to say filters on this. Well, guess what? I can go in here and I can search for clear. And here's my fabric clear. I can just change that to say clear all caps, save it and refresh. And there you go. We've made that change. So even on other extensions, you can do this. All right, that was it. Pretty simple, right? And don't forget that you can search for what override you're looking for by its value or by its constant. And so that way you have multiple ways to try and find what you're looking for because there are a lot of overrides. And the more extensions you have installed, the more overrides that you're going to have in there. But you see how easy it is. And remember, you are doing it per language. So if you have multiple languages and you've changed something like we did in our example, username to member ID, you would also need to go and do that in your other languages as well to their equivalency in their language. Okay, well, I hope this helped you out. And don't forget to follow our channel, like this video, and I will see you next time.